This is a this is called my first time, and it's about um, losing my virginity in Venice, California, in eleventh grade, to a ninth grade girl who was way ahead of me. <laughs> I met her in the eleventh grade She was already on some secret probation A mother's nightmare, father's dream She was Egyptian to me Took me an hour just to get myself brave I called her up at her mother's house My voice was shaking We were suspended on the line Till she said, okay, fine It was my first time Being the one to choose It was the hardest thing I ever had to do We drove around Santa Monica To your boat to go into the as people go to, not much was open. At 9 p.m., I took her home and we hung out. She knew a lot more about it than me. Took my hand and showed me things it wasn't guilty or dirty. It was tender, a little awkward. It was her third I think we both did fine But it got better after that The Velvet Underground was playing Halloween That might sound inappropriate But it's such a beautiful song Anything wrong Or maybe we were And that turned us on It was my first time I think she could tell But she kept me on And she taught me well I'm really happy that I have a lot of friends here tonight. Um, so, you know who you are. I guess it's all of you now. <laughs> have you heard of Facebook? We're all friends now. It's great. This will be my last song since I went on my little tear there, um, which is a kind of fantasy, a fairy tale that I wrote for my nephew. Now we'll just take it back to the family realm. Uh, called Vivid Green. Vivid Green, remember I Apocalypse machinery Falling down my hill of truth With swords for hands we soft stones, red glass Soon these forms resume ourselves Every exit entering Protect yourself, don't nazify English waves away the foam Slosh between raw continents Streaming Arab rainbow Crooked smiles again But I've always loved you Like a prophecy coming beautifully And I've always been you Been you every century Littered drinks 
for cavern eyes, discard this glib pathology. Daughters break white water lines, split their genes to celebrate. If fuzzy sapphic marrow swim, convince yourself to accelerate. Sorry now and point you, she's gone again to be herself. But I will always love you, like a prophecy coming to Fire blooms above you It's the sunset of the century So ready since I I saw you alone How lonely now How many more Your majesty illuminates the razor wires that drop this place the morning is returning me To anthems born of steady green I seize your hand and run with you In sonic fields past plastic youth Where fatal rainbows fall apart When everywhere we're what we are So I will always love you like a memory falling heavily. I don't really have this last line figured out, but it's like something about fire projecting out from me. Fire comes out ahead of you from the west end of the century. Thank you very much for having me. Things. We lived together when I first moved to Brooklyn in a tiny apartment across the gas station in the downtown jail with a roommate, Nick, and his cat, Spirit, thin as, a, thin as a slat, and she couldn't stop shitting. And we read Passage to India to each other in her oversized blue chair, wore a wig, smoked Lucky Strikes, worked at the same place, and drank a lot of tea. Eighty miles outside of Santa Fe, I realized with a greater clarity how certain sadnesses were running me around, and it wasn't just me. It was acting on the people I loved, the people who are good to me. Oh, was that the face at the bottom of the rock, the one I hid in Denver? Time to grow up, cross a new border. I don't know if what you do unintentionally can act on you, but what you don't do, even unintentionally, don't listen, don't ask, think it don't matter. Well, it starts to seep into everything. And when you go there, you've gone to that invisible wood, thinking no one sees you, even if you are as exposed as a hawk walking the empty road. And when you look up, face to the dull sounds of a car pressing the wind, oh well, then you thank God for your wings theme of tundra, uh, I work in a basement where it is cold, there's no heat, I can't turn on a space heater because the microwave, if it's run at the same time all the power goes out, it's an exotic location for an office. Uh, <laughs> but things like, things like no Amy, uh, the student, uh, like when they come in, it brightens my day, makes me feel warm in, you know, a tundra. Uh, but her, her stories are, this first one is Pineapple Class. Pineapple Class has a funny name. You know why they call it Pineapple Class? Because it is full of pineapples. You get it? Yes. All pineapples want classes in music and art and math and word study and reading and drawing in your pineapple community. And in your pineapple class, you must obey the rules of the pineapple class. No eating each other. Because each other, if you eat each other, you could die and you know not to eat each other. Look, woolly mammoth, who I will not be naming, as I'm not trying to be precious here, I'm trying to talk to you. Things, okay, people, come here for one of two reasons. There are those that come just because they heard it was a town that you could really spit in. And some just show up because there's some quality of life crimes that they just had to report. Try to be in the middle. It'll be harder to make friends, but then you don't need friends, because you have me. 
and you are a woolly mammoth. The first few years will be hard or easy. I'm not really sure of your life expectancy, life expectancy, because frankly, that's not terribly interesting. But if you eventually die, try to get a few things done beforehand. 